Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. We are checking out Warhammer Fest Online. It's day one for Warhammer Fest 2021, and this is Age of Sigma. Some very cool stuff coming out, not as much as I thought. None of the big reveals that I thought would occur, so maybe there's still a few more things in the works. We still have that mystery day on the last day of Warhammer Fest, but let's just get stuck in. Um, oh, sorry, before we get stuck in, I want to talk about how we're going to format this week. So because I'm in Australia, the time zones are very weird and I'm in the office some days and some days I'm not, and then I'm away on the weekend. So videos are going to be coming out at very odd times. But each day, hopefully, there will be a video, basically just an overview of what they've released. And if there's some things that I need to go into detail in, I'll do like an in-depth video. It'll still be branded like Warhammer Fest 2021 coverage, but it'll be a bit more in-depth um, because I don't want to go into too much detail to make these videos too long. So in saying that, let's get stuck into day one. So Age of Sigma, um, from the schedule, we know this is going to be Age of Sigma. So first off, we have the next Broken Realms, which is Kragnos. I'm not going to play the videos in this one. Um, if I go in depth, I'll play them in that, but you can always go check this page here. I'll have a link in the description and you can uh, watch the videos. So there's two videos here. We've got the main one for Broken Realms, Kragnos, sort of the history of Kragnos and who Kragnos is because it's a new character and they're ancient, their civilization is gone. They're the last of their people. Um, and we'll see they're not really people, <laughs> but we'll see. So yeah, he's free at last from his mystical bonds. He's the ancient god of earthquakes, the slayer of dragons, the force of un unalloyed destruction, and he's the living earthquake. So let's have a look at this model. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's a big one. So he is one of the biggest models in the range for Age of Sigma. He's just shy of some of the Mega Gargans. And to give you some context, um, I've got my mouse on screen. Where I'm hovering now, that's a human skull. So that gives you some idea of how big this guy is. So this little effigy here, which we have a close up of later and it looks amazing. I want to get like a whole bunch of design stuff like that. A uh, human would basically go up to that spot, up to his hoof. So <laughs> this guy is pretty massive and very interesting design work on all of his shields and armor and things. I originally thought that these shields were um, sort of scavenged, but when you look at them, they're all designed the same. So it's actually meant to be, I guess this belt brace thing. I don't know what to call it. It's very interesting design and I'm interested to see if they're going to uh, explore that civilization that's long gone. I think that would be very interesting. I'm always interested to see what new things they're going to come up with. So he is a giant, giant, giant boy. Huge. Love the horns on him. How like intricate and detailed they are instead of just simple horns. I think that's really good. Let's go have a look at some details there. He's a big boy. He's massive. Like what, what else can you say? He's massive. And you can see all the detail here of his shield, which looks just stunning. So highly detailed but it is going to be pretty big as well. So you can get that extra detail in there. Um, a huge mace, which going off the sizing before, it'd be like one and a half people high thereabouts. And then we can see this little effigy here, which looks really cool. I love it. I love the look of it um, with the skull. So you can just see how big this model is. And then we have the shield as well. Really love that shield. Sort of old ancient iconography, like the mountain there. Um, various different bones. That's him himself on there, I just realized. So we've got the body there, the legs, the tail, the horns, and the mace. So I think that's a really cool idea. Really cool design there. I really like that. So he's a big boy. We've also got some rules there. I'm not going to go too much into the rules. And like I said, this is going to be sort of an overview video. So I'm not going to stick too much to things for too long. But we also have Broken Realms Kragnos, which I don't know if this is the last one. They haven't particularly said. Oh yeah, sorry. My mistake, it will finish the series with a bang. So this is where the last one is, which to me indicates that we will be getting a new edition at some point very soon. Um, they did the same thing with Psychic Awakening. They did the same thing with End of Times. 
Um, what else did they do? I think they did one with 8th edition too. I might be wrong on that one for 40k. Could be wrong. But the rumors are that there will be a new edition and it seems to be about the right time. So I imagine this will be going in. But of course, this is not the only model for Kragnos. We have all these ones that we've seen. So we've got the Vampire Witch Hunters, which are cool. That just says, oh yeah, I'm an Inquisitor. We'll convert it. We've got the new Croak model, which I didn't do any coverage on. Um, I just didn't have any time, but it is a beautiful model. Highly detailed, bit too complicated, I think. Um, but in person, I think it'd be quite amazing. The fact that how it's just all, all these things I imagine just rotating around and just technically how it's all held together as a model. I really love that. And then we've got the newborn. I've got the talent and the voice. This is the best one. This is the voice, I believe. Um, I can't remember their actual names. There's Dexia and the other one. I can't remember. And we got the other one too. Very cool models. We'll see how much they are. I might pick one of them up. And then we have the new Revenant, which I didn't do coverage of either. I don't have that much time. Um, so we get rules for all of these models in this book, which is very cool. And then we got a giant image here uh, showing off how big he is. So we've got some, I've completely forgotten their name. I don't know what they are, I've just forgotten. But next to some orcs, you can see how big this guy is. He's huge, he's huge. And he's gonna be aligned with destruction because he's like a god of destruction, but not quite a god. Um, we'll see. Next up, we have more vampires. We get to see the remaining vampires and undead stuff. This is it, this is what we got. And I'm definitely gonna be doing an in-depth video on these models and the entire range. So don't worry, um, I am gonna be not too fast, but you know, fast enough. So this is, I guess you pronounce it, Lokavai, the mother of nightmares. Oh boy, I saw this and I'm like, oh my God. Cause I looked at it on my phone at 6.30 in the morning when I woke up and it looked like these, the arms themselves were all like wisps and wispiness because I couldn't quite make out the detail cause it was really small on my phone. But it's super creepy, like this whole body, you could cut it off there and stick a head on it and that's one model, but they've just dropped another vampire model on it. Amazing, I, seriously, there is so much to look at in this model. Like from when she's crouching on this old sort of gothic stone cathedral type thing, it's just, it's just crumpling under, <laughs> under her weight. I think that's such a nice little design, just a little, just a little something that you do notice, but you might not pay attention to it. And I really love that aspect of the design. The wings into that, these talons, huge long talons. I like, just so nicely detailed. So I'm keen, I'm keen for the vampires. And we can see here some more close-ups. So pretty big, pretty big model. Yeah, big, long, long tail, which is really nice. And then we've got close-ups of the face and the armor. Um, if you've seen my other Soul Blight videos and vampire videos, you probably notice that I'm coming around to this armor. It's not, I'm still not 100% sold on it, but I'm coming around to it. So yeah, it's just this, uh, something about the armor that I still haven't quite got, but coming around to it. But you can also build this as a Vangorian Lord. So similar, but the top of the body is slightly different. So you may get a whole bunch of extra uh, body bits in there, which would be very nice to have. Awesome, Ooh, keep bashing. Yeah, like just such a cool model. Love it. All right, I we get something um, unexpected, but kind of not unexpected. I always thought Radica, the wolf from Curse City. Oh yeah, spoiler. Um, <laughs> for anyone who hasn't finished Curse City, I am assuming since Radica is the big bad, you do kill the big bad. But sounds like, no, you didn't really kill the big bad. Uh, he, he came back and he's now the beast. Such a more impressive, imposing, scary model i yeah i'm this is what i really wanted from the big bad in curse city not just a dude and you can see the scale of it the wolves are pretty much the same and in the uh radica the wolf model the wolves are very overpowering it was almost too big for his body but now it's sort of like he's grown into them and we get some two vehicles there probably some of the um the triplets or the sisters or the cousins or whatever they were from the game. Very cool base too. Yeah, so Radical the Beast. That's who we have now. So it'll be interesting to see. I, it sort of gives a lot away from her city. I wonder 
if this model was meant to be part of the Curse City range as an expansion called something like The Hunt, where you go into the forest and you've got a hunt Radica. Possibly. I don't know. This is just all speculation because we don't know what's happening with Curse City. It may be it gets announced, it comes back, and all the expansions get released. We don't know. It's all purely speculation because we don't know yet. But I love this model. I think it's such a better version of Radica than Radica the Wolf. And then we got some more close-ups, particularly the hand blood. Oh yeah. And the um, Vikos trying to get the blood and drink it. And you can see the wolves there. So the wolf pelt almost went down to his feet. Or Radica the Wolf. I just want to actually go back to that shoulder armor. That's great. I want to see armor like that. Probably the vampires it work really well. I think that'd be really cool. Anyway, let's move on. We also have another Vikos, which is the Belladoma Volga, riding some wolves in the forest on a giant stone. Cool model, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a cool model. Probably the base is a bit too big, but you know, more vampire models, more um, odd vampire models. I do like, love the dress, pretty exquisite. And then you get the cheeky little feet there, which are, ooh, yeah, they're all sort of tr half transformed, half not. So I like that idea that they're evolving mid-transition. Not that they're transitioning within a few seconds or something, but over their lifetime, they're possibly trans trans transforming. Let's keep going. We've got the direwolves, which I assumed were going to be coming. I, th I think I said in the Soulblight book, there probably be some more uh, baseline unit models. And based on the cover, there was some direwolves or giant dire rats, I thought they were. But we got those. So let's have a little, little look. Yeah, get a box of those, probably 10 in a box. Some cool direwolves. That one's my favorite. With the little crow raven picking out the skin and the intestines falling down. I love it. Yeah, pretty stock standard stuff. So yeah, 10 in a box. There you go. That's what you're going to get. And that is all of them. Yeah, so that's all of the Soulblight Gravelord models. I definitely will be doing a video covering all the new models. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be covering that because it's a range that I'm really excited about. And in this image here, I can't, can't make it bigger, but you can see like the dire wolves, skellies, the undead zombies, a whole bunch of other things too. So yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of, it's an entire new range to be honest. So I'm excited to get into that and I'll probably do that over the next two weeks when I get a chance. I'm not sure if you can actually see all of that on screen at the time, but there we go, all those models. But one more thing, we do have a, um, Auto Battler mobile game, also on Steam. Um, they're not worth watching the trailer. It was 45 seconds of just model shots. Didn't really show anything of the game, but I do love an Auto Battler. So I think I definitely will be playing this. Spent a lot of time playing AFK Arena and used to play a lot of other Auto Battler games. So I'm cool to have this one. So there we go. That's all we've got. Oh, sorry, there was also an interview about uh, Kragnos, and that is with, I can't remember who it was with, uh, Jess Goodwin, who is the man, the myth, the legend, Jess Goodwin, who basically is Warhammer. Um, yeah, so there we go. Let's go back down to Kragnos. So that's that's it. That's all we got for um, Age of Sigma on day one. Not as much big releases as I thought. I'm a bit surprised by that. They may be holding on because we do need to have a big summer release, which usually is like a box game. I imagine that it will be an Age of Sigma new edition-ish. I say edition in like inverted commas, you can't see my fingers because I'm doing inverted commas, but I don't know if it'll be a new edition, but it might be a new box set. Don't know. With the Soul Black Grave Lords coming out in May, um, I didn't actually mention that, you might've seen it on the screen, uh, but yeah, they're coming out in May this year. To me, that says they're not going to be in a new box set for Asia Sigma, which is a little, I thought they might've been, but we'll, we'll see, I don't 100% know. So there we go. Like I said at the beginning, the coverage of this will be a little erratic. There will be a video every day, Australian time. Um, there will be, like this one will be up Australian morning. Other videos will up Australian night. Um, some videos might be a bit delayed, particularly on the weekend reveals because I'm going to be away. So there will be stuff. Um, but if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button because I'll be posting images 
on the community tab. So you can always check that and we can have discussion in there about them. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. If you do like this coverage, hit that like button and let me know. Let me know in the comments what your favorite model is. Mine is, if I scroll back down, oh, it's a tough one. I'm actually, oh, the vampires are really good. I'm going to have to go for this one, Lokavai. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think that's how I'm going to go. It's going to be that one. Yeah, pretty cool. Radico the Beast is pretty good too. All right, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on day two of Warhammer Fest 2021. Bye.